Hi, everyone. I'm Elise Najimi, the CEO from Foundation to be named later. And I'm Kay Hanley, one of the co-founding musicians of Hot Stove Cool Music. This is a very special rebroadcast of our virtual Hot Stove Cool Music 20th anniversary show from the summer. It's a special thank you for giving event to all our friends and supporters who've stuck with us all year through thick and thin. Because of you, we've been able to save many young people from dropping out of college. We've also been able to feed hundreds of families. We've set up emergency funds for families living in disadvantaged neighborhoods. Ensured that dozens of kids and their families have internet and laptops for remote learning. We've supported over 40 nonprofits working on the front lines serving our youth in Boston and Chicago. We provided college tuition scholarships to 170 deserving young people through the Gammon Scholarship Fund. And we've been there to provide mentors and caring adults to our young people during this very difficult time in our world. So we'd like to give a very special thank you to our sponsors, Novaya, Google, Sloan, Greenberg, Traurig, Exelon. Ace Tickets, Allen & Gerritsen, The Alter Group, Athletes on the Move, Bank of America. Baseball Fantasy Camp for Kids, Chicago Trading Company, Syncoro, DraftKings, and Elevate. Harpoon, Mince Levin, Salesforce, The Parsley Family. Vienna Beef, Wintrust, Tracelink, Blue Cross Blue Shield, CVS, and JBTV. Woods Hill Seaport Restaurant, the Cater Family, the Durant Family, the Andrew Family, Yacht Me, Cario Farm, and Philip Williams. And of course, the Chicago Cubs and the Boston Red Sox. So as you guys all know, Hot Stove is a labor of love and we really appreciate you all coming and to everyone involved because you know we all, we're all volunteers. We donate our time and talent to bring you this special show. So during the show, you can make a donation. Any amount counts. A buck, a million bucks, we don't care. All the donate buttons are live and active during the rebroadcast. We have a brand new exciting auction going on too, just in time for the holidays where you get some very cool gifts. So please check it out and bid. You won't be disappointed. It's at ftbnl.org. We hope you enjoy our show tonight. It's made with love and respect, especially our anthem, Bob Dylan's Gotta Serve Somebody, performed by Peter Gammons and the Hot Stove All-Stars, including the fabulous Kay Hanley. They let me in. So have fun, have everybody. Fun, everybody. Thank, Thank you. Hey, everybody, it's Michael Malley. Welcome to Virtual Hot Stove 2020. I wish that I was in Chicago right now at Hot Stove Chicago, seeing a Red Sox Cubs game, hanging out at Wrigley, then heading over to the Metro to watch yet another Hot Stove Cool Music, a great event that raises money for the foundation to be named later, which is Theo Epstein and Paul Epstein's foundation that does such great work in Boston and in Chicago. Though we can't be together in person tonight, we are bringing this to you live tonight virtually, and we have so many great musical artists who are going to be playing music for you here tonight. And now we are going to welcome one of the big stars of tonight's show. The whole reason we're getting this thing kicked off is because he and his brother Paul started the foundation to be named later. Let's hear it for Theo Epstein. What's up, Theo? Hey, Mike. Thanks for having me, man. If I'm the star of the show, we're in trouble, but thankfully we got a lot of other people involved. Well, I should, say, I should say you're one of the stars behind the scenes because you're putting your love and your heart and your enthusiasm, along with your brother Paul, Peter Gammons, and everyone here tonight. This is an event about love. I so miss the fact that we can't all be together. It's one of the best parts about this event, being together. But the foundation to be named later, which you started in 2005, really is impacting people's lives in a positive way. Can you tell me a little bit about, you know, how you and Paul got started with this? Sure. And first, I really miss everybody, too. And it's such an incredible, diverse group of people who come together to put this on. So thank you, everybody. But Amen. yeah, the foundation, it started back in 2005. It's really a mechanism just to raise money from Red Sox fans, Cubs fans, all baseball fans, fans of music, and redirect those funds to 
nonprofits in the Boston and Chicago areas that do the most important work in our societies, which is supporting kids who come from neighborhoods in need, giving them the resources they need to stay on the right path. And you know, there are 170 kids in college now through the Peter Gammon wow. scholarships funded by the foundation. So it really does make an impact. That is fantastic. I've seen it with my own two eyes. I've seen these people who come back and they, they reinvest their time, their energy, their heart into this organization. It's, it's really spreading love and we need more of it right now today. Thank you also, you and your brother and Peter Gammons and everyone I'm working on bringing in sponsors that already have invested in this event tonight. We have Google, Sloan, Sincoro. We have baseball fantasy camps for kids. And of course, we've got the Red Sox and the Cubs. It's a testament to you that both organizations still want to be so invested in something that you and Paul are behind. I'm happy to be a part of it. We got to get to the music because no one wants to hear you and me talk too much. So what, let's kick off the music right now. <laughs> let's do it. And let's start with, uh, you know, it doesn't have to be just Cubs and Red Sox. Let's start with an all-time New York Yankee great who's also an all-time hot stove, cool music great. He always shows up. He always slays out there. Let's give it up for Mr. Bernie Williams. Thank you, Bernie Williams. Take me out to the ball game. I swear to God, I wish I was able to go out to a ball game as we all wish we could do. But until that happens, we're going to be watching old games, talking about old games, and talking about great retired players like yourself, Bernie Williams. Thank you for bringing your musical talent to the foundation to be named later and to Hot Stove year in and year out. It's affecting real people. That's the truth. All of this work of people coming together, raising money, is affecting people like Leslie Suriel. Leslie Suriel was one of the first Peter Gammon Scholarship Award winners, and she just graduated law school. That's right, folks. It's working. The money we're raising to put people through school, Leslie just got out of law school. Congratulations, Leslie. We need people like you in the world right now. Here's a few words from her. Hello everyone, my name is Leslie Suriel Guerrero and I'm a 2011 Peter Gammon Scholar. And that means more to me than you will ever know. It allowed me the opportunity to go to UMass Amherst, go to New England Law, graduate law school, and now be able to say I'm a licensed attorney. They've been there every step of the way, guiding me, holding my hand, giving me advice, financial stability, and everything in between. And I am so proud to say that I helped manage the scholarship program and help those other kids that are now in my position as well. And this would not be possible without the help of Peter Gammons. We are so proud and so honored 
to be able to say that we're Peter Gammon scholars because of who he is and what he st stands for. He is a man of integrity, kindness, leadership. He's a friend, a mentor, a sports writer, a musician. But above all, he's a man of a great heart, someone that wants to give others opportunities. And those opportunities can be seen in all the scholars that we have and the many to come. And it is my honor, my privilege to introduce to you Peter Gammons. Thank you, everyone, and please donate. Good evening. I'm Peter Gammons, and I thank you a lot for being here and helping us. Heroism is ordinary people doing extraordinary things out of simple kindness. It was on that idea that 20 years ago, Jeff Horgan and I started Hot Stove Cool Music Concerts, basically just to help people. Four years later, we joined with the foundation we named later, with Theo and Paul Epstein. And when Theo went to the Cubs, it became Boston and Chicago. Our mission is simply to help all those great people who do so much with nonprofits in the inner city, helping kids climb over the walls that surround the inner city and to teach them, you know what, no matter how bad the winter, there's a springtime ahead. We have 170 Gammon Scholars, all of whom are proof of what happens when young people get opportunity. Our band is called the Hot Stove All-Stars. And this song, written by Bob Dylan, is our anthem. You might be an ambassador to England or to France You might like to gamble Or you might like to dance You might be the heavyweight Champion of the world You might be a princess With a long string of pearls But you're gonna have to serve somebody Yeah, you are Yeah, you're gonna have to serve somebody It might be the devil Or it might be the Lord But you're gonna have to serve somebody You might be a rock and roll addict Prancing on the stage You might have jokes at your command uh, Women in the cage You might be a businessman Or some high degree thief they may call you doctor, they may call you chief, but you're gonna have to serve somebody. Serve somebody. Yeah, you're gonna have to serve somebody. Serve somebody. It may be the devil, it may be the law, but you're gonna have to serve somebody. Serve somebody. A state trooper, you might be a young Turk, you might be the head of some big TV network, you may be rich or poor, you may be blind or lame, you may be living in another country under another name, but you're gonna have to serve somebody. Working on a home You might live in a mansion You might live in a dorm You may own guns You might even own tanks You might be somebody's landlord You might even own banks But you're gonna have to serve somebody
city council Take bribes on the side Not work in a barber shop Know how to do hell Be some other's mistress Somebody's there But you're gonna have to serve somebody Serve somebody Yeah, you're gonna have to serve somebody Good evening, my name is Josephine Lee and I'm the President and Artistic Director of Chicago Children's Choir, an organization that was founded in direct response to the Civil Rights Movement to bring kids of diverse backgrounds together on common ground. Today, we serve 5,000 children from every zip code of Chicago. Our in-school and our after-school programs offer a safe space where our singers can express themselves, connect, collaborate, and converse with one another, strive for excellence, and learn to lead in a global economy. We couldn't do this work without the long-standing partnership of Foundation to be named later. The choir was part of uh, this annual event since its inception in Chicago, and we are thrilled to bring our collective voice to you tonight, even if virtually. We will perform an original composition by Mitchell Owens, our composer in residence and alumnus of CCC. It is an anthem of unity and inclusion for our magnificent city of Chicago. We would like to dedicate this to all of you because we all live here. Built off of hard work and sweat, this city is not only my city, but it's your city. This city thrives forward. The beauty of my city is in the people of my city. The beauty of my city is in the different ethnic groups, ethnic foods, neighborhoods from the south side to the skyline. This city is everything. The streets are where artists, poets, and magicians roam when they seek inspiration from this place. But this city has trouble sometimes. Yes, this city cries. I can hear my city's woes when the wind blows every time another soul is lost to violence. This city has emotions in the deep depths of its lake, sending waves across the sand higher and higher each day, and the atmosphere is letting us know we have no time to waste. This is our city. Let's generate a generation of greatness through our youth. Together we can make everlasting change, because we all live here.
That was the Chicago Children's Choir. Fantastic. So great to hear people coming together, singing like that in a choir. I miss it. And another one I miss is my favorite musician of all time, Bill Janovitz from my favorite band of all time, Buffalo Tom. Bill Janovitz is a hot stove of cool music founder and a all-star. And here's a fantastic song from Bill. Janovitz is a legend in Boston. He's one of my favorite musicians, and better than that, he's a great guy. He's a great person, and he's a great hot stove all-star. I thank him for actually, he's the guy who brought me into this event many, many years ago. A great event benefiting the foundation to be named later, and right now, we're going to find out a little bit about the foundation to be named later, because we're going to bring in the co-founder of that foundation, Paul Epstein. What's up, Hey, Mike. Good to see you. Good to see you, man. You too. Well, you're not going to brag about yourself, so I'm going to brag about you for a second because you're actually a social worker who gives back. You're somebody who gives back again and again and again. You've dedicated your life to helping people. How did you rope your brother into doing this whole foundation? That goes back, Mike, to 2005 when we started. When he got the job in Boston, called him up, said, congratulations. The very next thing I said is we need to start a charitable foundation to capitalize on this new position you have. And he said, let me win a World Series first. We took care of that in 2004, of course. And then the next spring training, he was ready. We were ready. And we were kicking around names for the foundation, getting frustrated, couldn't think of the right baseball pun maybe. Said, screw it, we'll name it later. 
the foundation to be named later. Here we are. Just like, uh, yeah, baseball fans know, you know, sometimes uh, the trade isn't completed until it's put in a player to be named later. So that's exciting for those people who don't know that. And it benefits who? I know, but I'd like you to explain it to everybody. Sure, sure. We started in Boston, of course. We added the second city after Theo moved on to Chicago. Um, And each city now, we've chosen great organizations doing important work that are serving underserved youth. And that's the common thread. So both cities, incredible organizations. This event is our major fundraiser. It allows us to pass that money along to these great agencies. And that's a great reminder that this event right now, Virtual Hot Stove, the whole reason it's being possible, the reason we have all these musical artists and athletes coming together is to try to raise money for these individuals, these underserved but very deserving youth who need this money and that we're raising money. We're raising money via the live auction. So everybody out there can get involved by bidding on the live auction items. They can just make a straight donation if they like the message of what the foundation to be named later represents, and you, sh- and you should do that. But we also have the CEO of the foundation to be named later, Elise Najimi. Elise, hey. how are you? Looking hey. lovely. <laughs> Thanks, Mike. Hi, Mike. Hi, Paul. Hey, Elise. Elise Great to everybody, Elise is so, so hardworking. The reason this entire thing happens is because <laughs> Elise is one of the most charming individuals out there who – gets everybody involved with the foundation to be named later's mission. And I know we have a tremendous amount of people to thank. Elise, who do we want to start with? I want to start with you, Mike O'Malley. Thank Thank you. you. You're amazing. And this show is so much better. We're going to win an Academy Award because of you. I don't, well, that would be sad if we did. Probably a Grammy too. Maybe for the documentary of the making of this (laughs) and how many times we had to sit down on Zoom and do it. That would win, too. Good. That would be an Academy Award winning. (laughs) Anyway, you know what? The whole hot stove is a labor of love. We have um, everyone who puts this on as a volunteer. We have them working behind the scenes 24-7, donating their time and talent. Everyone on stage, um, everyone singing, every baseball player, every Hollywood actor, everyone volunteers. We couldn't be more grateful. We have a host committee that go out and get their friends and raise us a ton of money. They give their own money to um, be part of this and get the word out. Everyone who is part of this has the biggest heart um, and including our sponsors. So we keep our sponsors with us because we have a great time and they know that their work is, um, they're doing, they're the change agents. They're really making a difference to the kids and families we serve. So Paul's going to tell us who our presenting sponsors are. Yeah, we want to give a huge thank you to our presenting sponsors of Virtual Hot Stove. They are Google, Sloan, and Novaya. We also have our supporting sponsors, Allen and Gerritsen, The Alter Group, Athletes on the Move, Bank of America, Baseball Fantasy Camp for Kids, the Boston Red Sox, the Chicago Cubs, and the Chicago Trading Company. Those are some pretty generous sponsors, Paul. And we got other sponsors, Elise. Yes. Who are they? Sincoro, Tequila, DraftKings, Elevate Communications, Greenberg Traurig, Harpoon, Mince Levin, Salesforce, the Parsley Family, Tracelink, Vienna Beef, Wintrust, and Yachtme. Thank you. You guys make it happen. And I want to tell you, we're not just here to hear great music or to laugh and to hear Mike tell some funny jokes and make fun of me. We are here because we have so many, we know that talent, everyone has talent, but opportunities, really everyone doesn't have an opportunity. And we believe in education and that's an equalizer. We have the Peter Gammons College Scholars with 170 scholarship Uh, young people around the country. They each get a mentor, they get a laptop, and they get a plan for success. We stick with them for four years. We want to make sure they finish college, get jobs, and and not just jobs, dream jobs. Um, And our nonprofit partners nominate them. They're working so hard in Chicago and Boston, and we can't thank them enough. But I'm really proud because right now I'm going to announce a scholar, uh, Nicholas Chichendo. He is exactly 
um, he represents the spirit and the love of all the scholars that we have. So take it away, Nicholas. Hey, my name is Nicholas Uchendu. I am a Peter Gammon scholar from 2014 and a recent graduate. Um, you know, thanks to the support from the foundation, I was able to secure a position um, in my dream job. So I'm very fortunate and grateful about that. Um, so if you're on the fence about donating, please go ahead and do that, please. Um, you know, your donation will go a long way, you know, not only to help subsidize the education of these young kids, but also to give them that support system that they really need. Um, so, you know, right now I'm really, really excited to introduce Common. You know, you have a lot of fans within the foundation, including myself, and we're all very grateful for you donating not only your time, but also your talent. So without further ado, Common. Peace, everyone, and welcome to Peter Gammons and Theo Epstein's 20th anniversary hot stove cool music show. Thank you for being here. You're making a big difference during this important time in history where so many people need our help. I'm glad to be joining you. The funds raised tonight are critically important to so many kids and families from under-resourced neighborhoods here in Chicago and Boston. Because you are here tonight, you're supporting my Common Ground Foundation and Theo and Paul's Foundation to be named later, which have similar missions to ensure equal, more just, successful futures for our children. Love. Hey everyone, I just wanted to give you a quick little piece of a song called Good Morning Love. Hopefully everybody's having a wonderful time. Thank you for being here once again. And this is Good Morning Love. Walking with the Lord, I see footprints. My mama always told me use my good sense. Common always looking for the good sense, since we all got good in our essence. In the hood sense, we all good anyway. That's why you always hear another dollar another day. I see the day as a new beginning, movement of the people, movement of the women, to get the earth spinning in the right direct. This movie of life sometimes might project, act scenes that don't seem serene. I light a Palo Santo, put on love supreme, and get into the being of the great I am. That's when I get to seeing just how great I am. Many, many times from mistakes I ran, but I'm just the cake, let me bake my man. I pray I don't forsake my man, and whenever I fall on faith I land, imperfections resurrections in the mirror staring at god's reflection reflecting on my aggressions on my progressions on my obsessions there's a lesson in not feeling less than and seeing life itself as a blessing god bless you all thank you the foundation to be named later would like to thank novaya It's a great show so far. Thank you so much for being a part of it, watching, bringing us into your home, and being a part of this virtual hot stove. If you want to donate, if you want to donate or bid on an auction item, you can do that. The information is below. It's probably running right here, right right, right along my chest, or, or maybe a little bit, uh, well, yeah, right along my chest. That's, that's my Cubs logo right there. It's Red Sox Cubs. It's bringing it all together. Anyways. We're trying to raise money. We're trying to raise money for these scholarships. We're asking for your money. Part of the reason we're asking for your money is because we believe that we're entertaining you right now. Not this portion with me talking, but the music in between. I'm just here to remind you that if you're liking what you're seeing, if you're enjoying the music and the contribution of the artist, please donate. Donate. Click that donate button or Bid on an auction item. Get those prices up or take one away. We have some tremendous items and some tremendous experiences that you can bid on and you can help give back because of that. Thank you. Oh, hey, I'm sorry we can't all be together this year. Hey, it's uh, ESPN's own Barry Melrose. Actually, it's just COVID hair, Joel Murray. Yeah, I've had the pleasure of being the MC of this event many years in, in both Chicago and Boston. 
And when Mike O'Malley wrote me into this years ago, I had no idea what a great thing he was making me be part of. I, I've gotten to see where the foundation sends their money, the different activity centers and places in both Boston and Chicago that are, are just doing great things for kids that uh, might be getting in trouble otherwise. But I, I've gotten to see such great music over the years. I mean, I, the Smashing Pumpkins, I, Eddie, you, the, Poi Dog Pondering, uh, you, you name it. Uh, I've seen some great bands. I've got to introduce great bands, which is pretty cool. And sometimes just weird permutations of, of different people getting together for a jam that, you know, are just down for the cause and they're there to play. And uh, it's been just such a great experience. And right now I get to introduce a brand new original band, guys that got together because of Hot Stove Cool Music, guys that were all stars that have cut their own single, which you're about to hear. That's right. You're gonna hear a brand new original single from Matt Spiegel, Liam Davis, the incomparable Doug Julen, Gerald Dowd, and the man in the booth, Len Casper. Please get ready to experience the 45. Yeah. 
The foundation to be named later would like to thank Google. That's one of the hardest working men in show business and baseball. That's Len Casper in the 45s. Woo! Rocking out. Len has been a big part of Hot Stove Cool Music ever since it went to Chicago. He's one of the guys who has been so supportive of merging these two communities in Boston, Boston, and in Chicago, Chicago, to come together to raise money for this. Thank you, Len. Thank you to all the guys in the 45s. And now I'm going to actually throw it back to Len because he's with a Boston Red Sox favorite. We love anyone on the Boston Red Sox who were a part of bringing us a World Series win. He's one of my favorite Boston Red Sox players from the team in 2013. He's a heck of a dancer, too. He's a heck of a dancer. He's a great guy. And he's now the manager of the Chicago Cubs, my pal, David Ross. Lennon David. Thanks a lot. I'm here with Chicago Cubs manager David Ross, who won a World Series as a player with the Red Sox and with the Cubs. And boy, what a great connection, Rossi, with uh, hot stove, cool music going on in these two great cities. And I know you've been a part of this several times. And when you think about the hot stove ethos and being backstage and hanging with all the rock and rollers and baseball people, what's the first thing that comes to mind? <laughs> oh man backstage at the rock and roll well it's all the the shocking things you realize uh we're in the middle of all this guys like you and peter gammons uh just getting up on stage and jamming when you know a different side of somebody and that musical uh their musical outlet it's just so much fun you that you see a different person than you have in your brain and that you've met on the field um when you see somebody up on stage jamming with their instrument and i just think that's really cool. I love music. Um, it just is, it's in my soul. And when I see stuff like that, I just have an instant connection with guys, uh, that are able to do that. One, I'm jealous. And two, I just feel the music coming out of, out of one, their instrument and their body. Well, as you've seen the info on your screen, please, if you can make a donation to help very deserving kids realize their dreams through the foundation to be named later, Peter Gammons, college scholarship program on your screen. You can go to ftbnl.org. And that's the overarching point of this entire event every year, David, is that uh, as much fun as we have at these events, uh, we're able to raise hundreds of thousands of dollars for great causes involving the great kids in both cities and really around the country. And that's what it's all about. It is, you know, when you get to do something uh, like the like the hot stove event, and you get um, celebrities in the baseball world, bring uh, connecting with celebrities in the music industry, um, it's a powerful event. And and when you get to affect uh, the kids and and have a good time and raise a lot of money, um, it's it's so powerful. And especially now, in 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 the time we're going through now, and we, we've got so many issues out there, and, and especially financially, uh, every little dollar and, and cent goes uh, to a good cause. And so uh, being a part of stuff like this is always um, fun for me because we have a good time and it's for a good cause like the hot stove uh, event and the people that are running it are such good people. Peter Gammons, Theo Epstein, uh, the two cities are, are obviously I'm connected with uh, very heavily. So um, just always happy to be a part of this and, and, and knowing that the money's going to a good cause. You're one of a small handful of guys who uh, have World Series rings in both Boston and Chicago. How does that feel? That feels good. The, the, other, the other guys that have them, uh, Eric Hinsky, John Lackey, and Lester, are all, they're all, uh, especially Lackey and Lester, the reasons why I got the two rings. So, um, yeah, it's cool, man, to, to two historic franchises. Um, two historic museums that you get to play in. I mean, uh, just cathedrals of baseball that uh, I've been able to win two championships in. It's just uh, amazing to me and very, very fortunate and blessed. I understand that. And I don't take that for granted one minute. Um, what I learned in Boston about winning and, and that group, the first championship and going through uh, the unique scenario of, of the Boston Marathon bombing and, and being connected with that city was, was so powerful and instrumental in my career and, uh, and, and, and really connecting with John there and, and him bringing me over to uh, Chicago and being able to do it again with a, with a, with a special group and uh, in a moment where I was on the back end of my career and getting ready to retire and, and went out as good as you can possibly go out thanks to that group. So 
um, yeah, definitely got a lot of love for those two cities and, and uh, those organizations. All right, as we wrap up our segment, we're getting ready for a real cool segment. Speaking of uh, baseball players who are rock stars, and this guy, Bronson Arroyo, man, he is one of the sweetest human beings on the planet. He had a hell of a major league career, and I know he's a buddy of yours. And I'm going to let you introduce our next segment. What do you have to say about Bronson? Oh, man, Bronson Arroyo. I was his personal catcher in Cincinnati, and we um, we connected really, really good in, in, a, in a time in my life that I, I needed somebody uh, like him, especially the musically inclined uh, guy that just – uh, we could wind down at night and him play guitar and sing and, and all the all the offers that I was taking would go right away. So uh, without further ado, my good buddy and friend, Bronson Arroyo. Thanks, David. And congratulations to you and your new role with Theo Epstein and the Chicago Cubs. I've been lucky enough to be part of the Hot Stove Cool Music family since 2003 when I became a Boston Red Sox and Peter Gammons took me under his wing. I've also had a great time playing music on stage, but we've also gotten the opportunity to see a lot of kids and where the money from the foundation to be named later goes and who it benefits. 2020 has been a very harsh year. Please give everything you can. Every dollar counts. I've played a lot of Pearl Jam songs over the years, and this is the first time I'm going to debut an original song. So I want you guys to give it up for my band, Clint Walsh, Eric Gardner, Ed Velasquez, and Jamie Aronson. This is Nights Alive. I feel 
foundation to be named later would like to thank Sloan. You know what's great about rock and roll? Great women with great rock and roll chops playing rock and roll. And one of the founders of Hot Stove, Kay Hanley, gathered a group of other Hot Stove legends who year in and year out over the past 20 years have brought their musical talents to the stages in Boston and in Chicago to rip it up. Here is, some people call him Boto, Band of Their Own. Thanks, Mike O'Malley. As always, you are doing an outstanding job tonight. I miss you. Um, okay, so my band of their own sisters are strolling in to their studios. Um, we're obviously quarantined and not together. So uh, we've never done this before. No one's ever done this before. Hopefully it's gonna work. Oh my gosh, hi you guys. Okay. All right, Megan, are we ready? Yeah, okay. Um, we are a band of their own from Boston and Chicago. Hit it. We're running with the shadows of the night. So baby, take my hand, it'll be all right. Surrender all your dreams to me tonight. They'll come true in the
foundation to be named later, would like to thank Greenberg, Trowrig, and Tracelink. The foundation to be named later has an exciting new auction. My name is Richard Shaw from Steven Tyler's Janie's Fund, and I'm excited that our founder, Steven, is making available this amazing piece of artwork that was done from Brian Fox from Brian Fox Studios. Only 50 of these have been produced. This is number six, autographed by Steven. It's never been released to the public. Super, super, super amazing piece. We're excited to join the foundation to be named later in this new exciting auction. From the sunny island of Maui, Steven Tyler here. I want to thank Peter Gammons and Theo Epstein and the foundation to be named later for bringing so much light into this world. I want to thank you guys so much for what you do. Goes without saying, of course. Uh, thank you for supporting Janie's Fund and bringing hope and healing to girls that have suffered from so much abuse. Thank you so much for having us. Aloha. Foundation to be named later, we'd like to thank Blue Cross Blue Shield of Massachusetts and CBS. Good evening, everybody. I'm Robert Lewis, Jr. I'm the founder of The Base. The Base is located here in Boston, in Chicago, and Indianapolis. We are so excited about the Hot Stove Crew music and the foundation to be named later, which is a major supporter of the base in both Boston and Chicago. We're excited for a lot of different reasons. The Peter Gammon Scholarship that gets offered, the foundation hosting one of their Hot Stove Crew music in Boston by bringing celebrities here to the base to really celebrate with our young folks. And in 2013, Elise and I established the Urban Classic, bringing national urban teams um, throughout the, really the Northeast and Midwest Mass to both Chicago and to Boston to participate in the best of baseball, academics, and access. Um, Hot Slow Coup music has been instrumental in the success of so many of our young folks. Um, and we wanna take this opportunity to thank you for that. Um, we're also excited that the Chicago Cubs over the year this year actually drafting one of the young men, Mr. Howard, who played in the Jackie Robinson West program in many years ago, um, a young man, Calvin Graves, who played with us here in Boston. This is real deal work that both Peter, Theo, Paul, Elise, and the surrounding communities are doing. So we're just excited about your investment. We're excited about your support and excited for everything you do to make this event successful that turns around and benefits our larger community. So enjoy the rest of tonight and know that this investment really matters. Foundation to be named later, would like to thank Exelon and Cario Farm. All right, thank you, Robert Lewis Jr. That's Robert at the base doing tremendous work. You got to go check out the work that he's doing down there. Check it out online. It is tremendous the amount of lives this guy and all the people at the base are impacting. I got to visit the base last year with a pal of mine, a pal of mine who's considered friend and family to everybody in New England not only because he helped bring New England to World Series championships, but because he's got a great name that's fun to yell, Kevin Euclid. Euc! What's going on, everybody? Kevin Euclid here. I just want to say is I'm super proud to be a part of the Hot Stove Cool Music family. They do so many great things to raise money for so many great programs, and there's so many great people that are involved. I want to introduce my special friend, Will Daly, who does such amazing work, uh, both on his guitar, on the mic, and in the community. He's one of my best friends in the world. I love him to death, and I think you'll love him too. So without further ado, welcome Will Daly, and make sure, keep donating. You gotta raise some big money. All right. Hi, this song is called $300 Man, and it goes out to a friend of mine named Coach Robert. 
and the beauty of his healthy recovery and beyond and all he does for the base baseball program in Boston and Chicago. This is where my brother is buried This is where my mother grew up This is where we learn to be faithful To the land that took care of us This is where my sister was married This is where her husband ran off And I tried, I tried I've done the best I can But I know three hundred dollar man This is where a politician promised To do the things nobody's ever done This is where they stole from the families Behind the curtains of our broken laws All these seeds there are planted before me Under the winters and the summer suns And I try, I try I've done the best I can But I know 300 Hi everyone, Nick Lowe here. Thank you for inviting me on the show and allowing me to elbow my way into a space round the hot stove. This is one I think some of you will remember is called Cruel to be Kind. Yes. 
Welcome back. We got more great music coming up, but one of my favorite things about being involved with Hot Stove Cool Music and the foundation being named later is meeting a tremendous amount of other really generous, successful, and good-hearted Red Sox people. And here right now are two of the biggest-hearted Red Sox guys around, president of the Boston Red Sox, Sam Kennedy, and living legend, yes, he's the man who's brought you more World Series than you ever thought possible, David Big Poppy Ortiz. <laughs> what's up, boys? <laughs> what's up, Mike? How we doing, my friend? Poppy, uh, you what's know, up? Mike, We're what's surviving. happening? What's happening? We're surviving in Los Angeles. We got somebody in Boston. We got you in the Dominican. It's so great to see you and have you be a part of this. We can't wait to be back at Fenway celebrating. And uh, Sam, you've known the Epstein brothers for a long time. How'd you meet? Well, Theo and Paulie and I grew up uh, in mean streets of Brookline, Massachusetts. <laughs> Brookline High, class of 1991. Yeah, baby. Oh, Paulie and I always joke, you know, Theo's sort of like the, the evil twin. Paulie's saving lives and <laughs> there are people at our high school as a social worker. Theo went on to become a Hall of Fame baseball executive. No big deal. But we, um, we'd always joke that, you know, you had to question Theo's judgment from the time he was a little kid all the way through high school, through college, working at the Padres together, the Red Sox together. He's, um, he's a bit of a free spirit. He'll always say what's on his mind, and he'll pretty much do whatever he feels compelled to do at the moment. Um, and probably my favorite hot stove, Cool Music, he did just that, 2017. He thought it would be a good idea to take the 2004 Red Sox <laughs> trophy that Poppy single-handedly won us, <laughs> the 2016 Cubs trophy, and have him do a little crowd surfing. So he just yeah, that was good. Right out, right out of the crowd. Again, I thought Tom Ricketts was going to fire his ass. I was going to get fired for sure. Hey, listen, you can, you can fix those trophies. A, f a couple of flags got bent, okay? It's, it was <laughs> fine. And listen, he was trying to, you know, bring the trophy to the people. Not everybody gets to hold that trophy in that way. Now, David, uh, I cannot believe that I'm, I'm looking at you because you don't you don't age. I don't, I don't you know, you, you, I seem, when, you know, when, when I met you, we, we look to be around the same age. Now I look like your grandfather. Okay. You're, you're, you're obviously, uh, oh, buddy, you look great. You look better than ever right now. Let me tell you, you're, you're, you're looking that healthy. Skin, that skin is holding on tight. <laughs> it's holding on tight. 
It's all the plastic surgery and, and Beverly Hills, baby. Looking good. Now, listen, man, you, uh, I, I, have to, um, I have to celebrate you, not only for your athletic achievements, which have brought the O'Malley family so much joy and so many people all around Red Sox Nation so much joy. You have such a joyous spirit. I know it's real because I, I've seen you off the field. It's a, you have such a big heart. And you keep giving back. You give back and you give back and you give back. And, and, and listen, man, you didn't take anything from anybody, so I don't know why you keep giving it back. You just give. <laughs> uh, tell me a little bit about, you know, where your heart comes from in terms of your sharing and you're just constantly showing up for charitable organizations like you do. Well, first of all, um, Mike, uh, you know, I come from a family that, really uh, encouraged me to, you know, get back and, and, and do whatever it takes to, to help people out and everything. And I have been lucky enough, I feel very thankful that I also get to be surrounded by great people, you know, playing from the, from the, playing for the Red Sox, it was something that was huge to me because the Red Sox organization is not only a baseball organization. It's a family organization. It's a. It, it, we have so many visionary, right there in that organization that that basically show you the future. Uh, even if you if you can just see it at the at the moment, you know. But they prepare you for what is coming up, and you know, being surrounded by so many good people, Sam, John, Linda, Tom. I mean, you name it. We got so many good people, so many role models in the organization that as a player, to me, uh, sometimes people used to ask me, how can you deal with so many things going on at the same time? Well, like, I'm surrounded by people that help me out and make it easier for me. So uh, um, it, it just it's just part of what we are, man. You know, there's so many things going on right now, this pandemic, so many people dying, so many people suffering from, you know, and uh, uh, everything right now is is is, is kind of like we don't we don't we don't get to see the light, but we will we will we gotta we gotta keep the faith we gotta stay focused we gotta continue helping each other out we gotta continue giving back. Those are the things that fix problems. You know what I'm saying? And and I'm always down with. Okay, everybody, let's clear the virtual stage for a couple of hot stove veterans with a new rock and roll ensemble. It's the family that put the rock back in Rockford. Guitarist Rick Nielsen of Cheap Trick with Cheap Trick drummer and son Dax Nielsen, son Miles Nielsen, and singer Kelly Stewart. We made a request. You guys know any songs by Cheap Trick? Ladies and gentlemen, for the benefit of the foundation to be named later, the Nielsen Trust. Hot stove, cool music. We're the Nielsen Trust. Thanks so much for having us out. Roll out of money and running out of love. Running into problems I never, never thought.
Hey everybody, this is Ken Casey from the Dropkick Murphys, and we're honored to be here at the most important Hot Stove Cool Music event in 20 years. Listen, we've been a part of the Hot Stove family. We've been honored to play many of the Boston events. We even did the Chicago event one year. The foundation, to be named later, does great things to help children and families, and uh, they're in need more than ever. So please check out the information on how to donate on your screen and uh, help out. And uh, now back to Fenway. This one's a brand new one. Go smash it up! The U.S. team came here with a plan. It truly feels great to be a Cub today. A five-year plan. Cubs fans, I appreciate your faith in me and promise to repay you with the hard work and dedication that you deserve. A teardown, a rebuild, the future of the Chicago Cubs. 
Well, three years into that plan, when things weren't looking too great, he turned to somebody important, somebody to rely on, somebody who could get things done around here. That's when he turned to me and what I had to offer. And what that was, was a brand new two-year plan. Sure. First year, it really didn't work out, given the whole only making it to the NLCS. But in that second year, well, we all know what happened. World Series champions. Well, that was our show, everybody, and we really hope you liked it. If you did, you can make donations anytime at ftvnl.org. Music, baseball, giving back, what could be better? It all makes a difference. We'll see you in a few months for our virtual 2021 winter hot stove cool music. Thank you to our sponsors. Thank you to our volunteers, our friends and fans for giving. Your generosity matters. You matter. Stay healthy, everybody. Stay healthy. Bye. Bye. <laughs>
a council or take a bribe on the side. Not work in a barber shop, know how to do hell. Be some other's mistress, so far as hell. But you're gonna have to serve somebody. Like to eat bread, you might see. 